Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Vikram. In this class, we will try to understand error correction using block coding. The concept of error detection uh, using block coding and the block coding, the understanding of block coding has already been covered in our previous videos. If you haven't watched those videos, please watch those videos and come back here. And every video in our channel is going to be a part of entire course or a playlist. Our suggestion is to follow the entire course so that you can have better understanding of the concepts. And the link for the playlist is provided in the description below now using the block coding mechanism how the errors are corrected that we will try to understand so before that so these are the data words and these are the code words this is not the example that we have seen in our last previous videos so this is a bit different example where where the data words are of size 2 bits and the uh, code word is of size 5 bits which means the redundant bits that are added so let's uh, the redundant bits that are added are uh, three bits three redundant bits extra bits are, uh, are added to the data bits and uh, uh, in total the sum two plus three five bit size five bits is the size of the code word okay so that is the difference and uh, these are the uh, corresponding code words for these data words and uh, what is the what are the uh, steps in the process of correcting the things is data word for example we'll try to understand with this example so uh, zero one we want to transmit and this zero one zero one we want to transmit uh, so what we are going to provide zero one to the algorithm algorithm is going to produce a three bit redundant so a three bit redundant code will get generated for this it is going to be zero one one for zero one it is zero one one is the redundant bits that are added to the data word so that is important to understand zero one one is the code algorithm is going to generate these bits and now this zero one one is added to the data word so the code word is going to be this is the code word that needs to be transmitted so transmitted and it is received for example no errors has occurred assume that so we are going to check for uh, checker is going to check in the sense it is going to compare all the all the code words so how the comparison is done i am just saying that the comparison is done how the comparison is done so that we will try to understand so uh, for example 0 0 0 0 so first this word is compared with 0 0 0 0 so it is 0 1 0 1 1 so how that comparison is done is it is simply by using XOR gate so these two these five bits are transferred the combination of these five bits and these five bits are transferred to the uh, to the XOR uh, gate so uh, it is going to produce so this is uh, 1 1 0 1 so what is the operation of XOR gate if both bits are same then it is going to produce an output of 1 if the bits are different then it is going to produce an output of uh, 1 so uh, same means 0 different means 1 so how many bits are different so with this what we are going to get the different bits are we are going to obtain so 3 bits are different so when compared with this 3 bits are different similarly we are going to check for this it is 0 1 0 1 1 is compared with 0 1 0 1 1 so it is going to produce an output of 0 0 0 because all the bits are same so now it is going to decide that the code word that has been received is uh, is a valid bit so that so that it is going to remove the redundant bits and the data word will get transferred to the receiver okay so now now uh, uh, consider the case of an error so what uh, an error has occurred for example if this is the uh, code word that is being transmitted assume that this one has been changed to zero so an error has occurred zero one zero one sorry this has been converted to 0 0 1 so now how we are going to detect the error and how we are going to correct the error so that is very important to understand so here we are going to again do the comparison comparison in the comparison 0 will get compared so this one will become 0 so how many bits are different two bits are different here in this case so if if we XR this with uh, the code that has been received it is uh, 0 1 0 1 1 is compared with 0 1 0 0 1 so what is the output that we are going to get it is uh, uh, 0 0 sorry it is 0 0 and this is 1 
zero zero zero. So one bit one bit has been changed. One bit has been changed, and the next one is uh, this one. So this one um, one zero one zero one is compared with zero one zero zero one. So is compared with zero one zero. This is zero. This is zero one one zero. Sorry, this is also one. So three bits are uh, different, and similarly, this one will get compared. So I'll write here. It is one 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 zero is compared with zero one zero zero one. So this is different. So one this is different one different one zero one. So four bits are different. So here four bits are different. Now now. None of them has been obtained as zero. So here zero errors. So there are no errors. So we have obtained all as zeros. So so which one is going to be decided? Which one is going to be decided as uh, as the valid bit? In the sense, so in the sense, see here. This for this one bit error, one bit error for this two bit errors, and for this it is a, a three bit errors, three bit error, and here it is four bit error. so how the correction is done is so how the correction is done is out of them which one is having the lesser number of errors so that is going to be the final answer so and and one more thing that we have to understand is this coding mechanism is uh, is capable of correcting only one bit if only one bit error occurs then only this coding mechanism will work it is going to correct the correct one so if two bit errors means it is going to detect the uh, it is going to detect something which is not related okay so as we have already discussed in our previous example also it is capable of detecting only one bit error here it is also capable of correcting only one bit error so here we get only one bit error one bit error so as single one states that one bit has occurred as error so it is going to compare that uh, with this 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 is the this is the code word uh, which is very much real uh, 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 near to the near to the uh, the code that has been transmitted so it is going to decide that 01 is the data word that has been transmitted and it will get transmitted to the receiver what if if we have two bit errors Three bit errors and how those two bit and three bit errors will get corrected. So that we will try to understand in our later coming videos. Right now, this concept is applicable only for one bit errors. Okay. Hope you got the clarity on this concept. Thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates. And if you have any doubts regarding this concept, please post your doubts in the comment section below. And if you feel that this video is helpful to you, please give us a like symbol and please share this video with your friends so that they will. also get benefited thanks for watching